Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. So, I quite like to play Star Citizen looking as pretty as possible when I'm not recording. I don't mean I'm wearing a dress, I mean I like to tweak settings and make the game look as best as it can. Now, it might seem counterproductive to not have it looking its best when I'm recording, um, but it can be quite laggy. You're going to drop a lot of frames unless you've got some sort of bestral computer. And there are a few different things that you can do in Star Citizen to get a better looking game. Or at least a game more t tailored for your eyes. A lot of the stuff here is going to be pretty system intensive, so bear that in mind. So before we start properly, performance wise, after you've launched Star Citizen, make sure you close that launcher. That will just give you quite a few more frames. That thing munches up system resources, nom nom nom. So DSR and VSR, this is all super resolution stuff. I've done a separate video on this and I'll link you to it uh, in the description or probably on the screen somewhere. But basically you can set your in-game resolution above your native resolution of your monitor. For example, uh, on my 1080p monitor that I use, I run at DSR, or my NVIDIA card, 4K. I run at a 4K resolution and then scale it down to fit. It is extremely intensive, but quite pretty. It's really intensive anti-aliasing and also makes the general image quality prettier too. With uh, the super resolution stuff, you don't have to put it to 4K, you can put it to like 1440p or somewhere in between. You basically, with this, do not want to drop below 30 frames a second. In my opinion, Star Citizen is kind of unplayable under 30 frames a second. I prefer 60. It's down to your personal preference. So, if you're running 1440p or lower resolution wise, you might want to force on FXAA. Now, I only know how to do this on a NVIDIA card, and I'll put the screenshots up. And basically, you download uh, NV Inspector, uh, you turn the settings on uh, for Star Citizen Squadron 42 in NV Inspector, then you go into the control panel for NV Control Panel, uh, and then again for Squadron 42 Star Citizen in 3D settings, you set up um, so that it's using. Uh, FXAA on. You can also here while you're there turn on high quality texture filtering. Also in NV Inspector you can turn on ambient occlusion. So I've turned it on here and I've set it to quality in my managed 3D settings as well. AMD cards do have similar options. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what they are. I'll link to them when I can and please feel free to put them in the comments below if that will help me. So a custom user.cfg can really make the difference. I've made another custom user.cfg that concentrates on image quality. I've done one for speed previously, if you're really competitive in PvP or whatever. Um, it should give you a bright, sharp image with a really great level of detail. There are some settings here that I'm sure that people will disagree with, or say they actually reduce quality, or that I shouldn't have them on or off, but for me, this looks the best from what I have tested, and I've done a lot of testing. And I'm always willing to test and try more settings uh, and update accordingly. Now, there are a few settings you might want to change. Um, set VSync to 1 if you get screen tearing. S that's simple. If you don't get screen tearing, then leave it alone. You want to get as many stable frames as you can. But as a rule, I like 60 or 30. If you're really an image quality buff and you want your image looking as perfect as possible, then try and run at 4K resolution. Um, if not higher, if you've got the magic ability to do so, um, and get a, a minimum of 30 frames sustained. Um, I like 60 because I feel that it improves my, um, my ability to play, and I like the smoothness. Um, gamma, that controls how bright the game is. So, I set it to 1.2, I think that gives the best results. Some people might get mad at me as well for turning off colour grading. So if you are angry, set it to 1. Um, but test both and see what you like the most. I like colour grading on 0. Basically, the things I hate section is tweaked for my preference. So feel free to change that. I've turned off motion blur and head bob uh, and depth of field, that sort of stuff. So you can just download this user.cfg and put it into your Star Citizen public folder. I'll put the exact link again in the description below. Um, or you can make your own user.cfg by copying the contents here or from another page or from our resources page uh, into a notepad and then naming it user.cfg. The idea of this particular user.cfg was to make uh, the image as sharp as possible and give as long range of like level of detail at range of view so the further detail away doesn't degrade too much so things like signs that are a long way away or ships that are a long way away you can see them quite quite well detailed and at high resolutions that works really pretty damn well 1440 P plus uh, it's looking really great if you're going to be running at a lower resolution than that 
that it's definitely worth turning on at FXAA because you're going to have quite jagged lines otherwise. This really concentrates on making stuff sharp so you can get quite bad jagged lines basically. Anyway guys, I hope that gives you a prettier Star Citizen experience. The custom user.cfg and the uh, super resolutions can really make a big difference. And tweaking some of your graphics can really help. And the Catalyst Control Center for AMD should be pretty similar to the NV Control Panel. Um, you should be able to work uh, some of that out yourself. It, it probably just a couple of simple options. But I will try and link some screenshots at some point. Or feel free to share them if you already know where some are. Instructions or screenshots in the comments below. As well as anything else you think I may have missed. More tips or changes. Anything. I'm willing to listen and learn. Thanks so much for watching guys. And I'll see you in the verse.